Defund the USPS. I don't need my tax dollars being used to fund such a poorly run service. Private carriers are more than enough. And it's not like USPS is significantly cheaper or anything. Yeah, except the USPS made $77 billion this year. We don't use your tax dollars. To the contrary, it's 600,000 employees' paychecks are taxed from USPS revenue, thereby contributing to government funding. Also, private carriers are not more than enough. UPS, FedEx, and Amazon pay us to deliver packages that either aren't profitable for them or they can't handle. We also rely on them for logistics. Having an every door, every day government entity in congruence with our private partners really works out well for everyone. Hey man, whatever you guys gotta do to get me my package in a day or two, yeah, do that. I don't care. You need my tax dollars? Take them. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash quit your BS. Let's get into it. These two toothpaste boxes are exactly identical, including the size of the tube inside, except one is stretched a bit taller than the other. Whoa, dude, that's insane. Except, you know, the bottom one is laying down and the top one is up on its side. They're both the same, dude. Yeah, exactly identical, except this thing that's different. So not exact or identical. So basically this dude's whole post is in complete shambles. They're not the same, except they are kind of the same. They're just on a different face of the same box, bruh. You played yourself. Or just stay off all dating apps like I do. Insights. They're not a good idea at all. What's bad about using dating sites? If nothing else, they at least give you options. It's the wrong way to go about finding a relationship. No thanks from me. People can argue as much as they want, but they don't see it's a bad idea. Just like clubbing is a bad idea too. You know, your profile is publicly visible, right? Like, you have a Reddit post less than a week old looking for that special someone and send countless DMs to multiple women by the looks of it. Yes, I know, you say it's for friendship, but DMing women on this subreddit for friendship? Really, dude? Not judging your methods, it just comes across as very disingenuous for you to criticize online dating only to do pretty much the same thing yourself. Yeah, these people aren't very clever, clearly. Like, dude, the thing that you're denouncing in this very moment is something that you do, except you do it in a worse way, and you're probably a nice guy, and you do it as a guise, or you come off as a creep, and all this stuff. Or you could just go on the dating app and take your shot, like, regular. Like, bruh, you're doing the same thing. This dude posted a photo of this chick who I think he's acting like it's his girlfriend? LMAO, who's that? Took my babe on a shopping spree, but she wildin'. Okay, buddy, and then the picture from Instagram, and it's not this dude's girlfriend, because of course it's not. Like uh, anytime anybody goes, who's that? You already know, they know who it is, and they're just hoping you lie so they can call you out. So, you know, if you ever find yourself lying on the internet and somebody says, who is that? Or did you make that? Yeah, just know they already know and they're gonna call you out. So just spare yourself the time and save yourself a little bit of dignity and just go, oh, bruh, yeah, I was just goofing. Like, th this isn't my girl. But yeah, don't, don't try to lie because they already got you. Here's a perfect example of what I was talking about. This photo. So, this is yours? Interesting. I tested all these images. They all come from Pinterest. Again, like, bro, if you're gonna do this, could you at least do it right? I mean, I guess it's good that you guys are so bad at this that you get caught, but you literally just, the, the, the dude is like, oh yeah, really, that's yours? Yeah, that's yours? And then just still, you're gonna try to go, yeah, it's mine, it's mine. Even though it's so easy to date the images in reverse image search. like. Just confess or move on or whatever, but, but stop embarrassing yourself. I suspect the downstairs neighbor may have a new light fitting. 
a light fitting? You mean light fixture or is that just a different slang? I've never heard of a light fitting. Anyways, um, you sure that's your neighbor? Cause here's this post from the original person who posted it. Yeah, the neighbors downstairs installed a dancing pole. Yeah, so basically that's not yours. And honestly, their caption is way better than yours. So why would you even post this in the first place, expecting it to do as well as the original? But I guess it did good, so oh, good job for, for not being original or creative. Two stars. Their tech wasn't very knowledgeable, and their prices are the highest in the area. The expensive repair job lasted only a week, and we were back to square one. Frustrating. Response from the owner. Yeah, thank you for your feedback. But we did this work for you on this date, and this is the first I've heard about there being an issue with the repair. Had you reached out sooner, we would have been happy to come back and figure it out for no additional charge. It's odd that we didn't hear about this sooner, because we've been in communication over the past 14 months regarding the balance for this job that hadn't been paid until recently. I specifically remember a call with you two months after the repair where you apologized for forgetting to pay it and saying how happy you were with our work. The repair was 175 bucks, which is our minimum flat rate and very competitive with the rest of the rates of other fireplace stores in your area. Stellar customer service is very important to me. Give me a call at this number during business hours if you'd like to discuss this further. Yeah, they definitely don't want to discuss it further. They were just trying to rip you off of your money because you did the repair and then years down the road or a year and a half, whatever, then, then it broke again and they go, oh, well, you just didn't do it right. Even though everything was fine. And honestly, it probably was nothing wrong with the repair you did. Probably it broke in a completely separate way or they broke it. And now they just want you to foot the bill because they remembered, oh, well, we had somebody come out so we could just blame it on them. Yeah, you're not going to hear from them. My town took four days in seven hours. Hmm, interesting, because here's the link to the original. Is this you? Because it's been up for four years now. Dang. Yeah, buddy, you got to do better than that. Again, reverse image search. That'll get you like <laughs> uh, four years. It's not even like it's close. And you could just say, oh, I, I, I don't know how they got a hold of it. You know, it was just we were just a couple hours off and, and it might say the same date when they look. And if they don't really check, they might think it's yours and somebody ripped you. No, 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 no. That's not the case. This is four years later. Everybody's already seen this post. Happy 18th birthday. No, dude. No, this cat is scrappy who became rather famous after slowly turning from pure black to molted, I don't know, most likely due to vitiligo, 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 but Scrappy's birthday was September 23rd. Even more, Scrappy passed in 2017 at age 19. Nice try, OP, but Reddit knows. Oh, by the way, here's the link. <laughs> imagine taking something that already went viral on reddit and trying to post it as yours like you know hundreds of thousands if not millions of people have already seen this but you think you're just gonna rip their post and nobody's gonna notice or say anything yeah okay all right modern chodes that's it for the hot post from r slash quit your bs if you enjoyed the video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications and of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do, just click the link in the description down below and do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time. Peace.